Oh, my name is Rob Garner. I play flugelhorn. I've been in GSO nearly since it was founded. Um, I, I started with the group in uh, January, February 2006, so I guess I've been in the group uh, like 13 semesters now. Uh, we did a headcount recently. I think I'm the oldest remaining member of the group. No, no one has been in the group that's still around uh, longer than I have at this point, which I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but that's the way it is. Boy, there's been a lot. Um, early on, a lot of the uh, leadership of the group was um, sort of catch as catch can. We had a, a core group of officers, but really the titles didn't matter nearly as much as just finding someone who had the time and the knowledge, ability, etc., to get work done. So we were all tag teaming, I think, back in the early days. Um, when I found out that I was going to be attending grad school here, I uh, decided to um, well, I decided to stay with the group. And actually, um, I was nominated for president by the guy I live with now, my roommate Chris Apple, who's been in the group almost as long as I have. So he suggested uh, that I run for president. I said, okay. And uh, so I, I was president for three years from the summer of 2008 up through my uh, graduation in May of 2011. Uh, that, was, that was a really interesting set of years. A lot of it was, a lot of it was really fun. Uh, it was really great being able to uh, take the group and 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 build upon the uh, the foundation that had had come before in, in terms of making the group uh, in, in terms of building upon the group's uh, early successes and, and continue that trend um, I got a, a great deal of satisfaction out of out of my role with uh, GSO uh, my role as president um, I have to say the best part about it though was, was getting a fiance out of it so that that worked out pretty well for me Jeez, it's really hard to, to look into the future um, in terms of where the group is going. If you had asked me in 2006 where the group would be in five years, I certainly would not have said, we'll be contributing pieces to video games live, uh, we'll be selling out every concert we do in the Clarice Smith Performing Arts Center, we'll be the largest band orchestra, ensemble, what have you, on campus. Our waiting list will be 10 years long. I mean, would not have seen it coming. We, at the time, I think, uh, anticipated existing uh, in the future, but I don't know that any of us really, really took a close look at where the group was going to be going. We were just thrilled to be hanging out with like-minded people who enjoyed the same music and the same games that we did. So my best guess for where GSO is going to be in five years, the moon. I, I really, I've got no idea. Working with um, video games live and uh, the composers of some of the pieces we do, Grant Kirkhope, uh, Jeff Knorr, uh, to name two off the top of my head, uh, and then we have this piece this semester, uh, Austin Wintory, uh, who did Flow. It's, it's vindicating in a way, really. It, uh, it tells us that what we're doing is worthwhile, that the, the time, energy, blood, sweat, tears that we're, we're, we're giving to GSO, it's, it's worth it. Uh, the music is, is really getting the recognition uh, it deserves to get. Uh, not just because we're the ones playing it. I mean, people everywhere are really waking up to the fact that video games and, and the music in them is a true form of artistic expression. So having those more established organizations and the bigger names pay attention to us, uh, it really helps us feel like we're on the right track. It really helps motivate us to, to keep going. With regard to the Smithsonian concert, I, um, people who will be hearing us for the first time, uh, there's really no way to, to describe it. It'll be, it'll be different than what you're used to. Um, those of us who have uh, listened to us before 
well, we have a whole new house to, to try our hands with. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that it's going to be uh, going to be good.